today we will learn how to create a table and to display its data in App2Go. We'll create a new application and click on the empty application option. We name the application, in this case stock, and we click on run. This takes us to the database, which as we can see is empty because it is a new project. In fact, if we go to pages, we only have the dashboard. Now we save and press build. We wait and once the application build message is shown, we search the following address in the browser and we will see our application and its only current page, which is home, and a sign that says hello. We go back to app to go and create a new table. This will be our products table, okay, because of course we will be running a stock. Okay, great. Now, we fill in the blanks. We delete the first field because we don't need it. The first field that we want to create is name and we define it as text. Great. The second field is price, which will be a number type field because, well, it is a price. The third one will be stock, so it will also be a number type field. The last but not least will be description and we're going to define it as a multi-line text. Great, now we save and go to pages where we can see that the products page is automatically created with the same name as our previous table. Now let's click on products and we take it to the dashboard. This page is created automatically and is the one that lets us create, edit or eliminate the products. Now we click on save then build and wait until the application build message is shown. Now we'll see a new page, products, which has just been created. We click on the add icon to create a new product, which we'll name, let's say, test1, with a price of 100 and fill in the rest of the fields as we wish. Then press create. There we will find the data entered previously. Nice. Now to add several products we click on this button right here and we will begin to fill in the different spaces according to the utility that we want to give it and once it's completed we click on the add button to add other products. And once again we will fill in the blanks. To finish we click on the add multiple and add buttons once again. By giving it refresh we will see the changes made. Next, we'll return to App2Go to create a read-only table. To achieve this, we will do the following. We go to Pages and create a new page that we're going to name, for example, Product List. The pad will be Dash List and below we're going to write Products underscore List dot TSX. We save and take it inside the dashboard. We click on product list and in here the first thing we do when we want to bring data from a table is write load from database then we click on the element and drag it to this section. We select the table from which we will extract the data and select a variable name which will generate a list of products where we store all of the products that come from that table. We type for example, all products. Now we create a table and take it to the body. Whoops, uh, looks like I misplaced the element. Luckily, with App2Go, we can quickly fix the problem. And we can continue by disabling the allow addition and allow deletion options. Then we choose to use a variable and write all products. We hit save, build, and wait until we see the application build message. Inside App2Go, Look for the field element and drag it below the table. We are going to repeat this four times to show only the fields that we'd like to show. For the first one, we choose the use a variable option and fill it with fieldData.name, which means that I'm accessing the name of the first product, in this case test1, and is going to be a show type field. In the same way, we define price with a variable that will be field data.price, and this one is also going to be a show type field. 
we're going to continue with the stack field and the rest repeating the previous formula. Once this is finished, we will add a container outside table with a max width of LG. We proceed to save and build. Inside the table section, in the variable to use in header option, we can write the variable that we're going to use. It can be headers or we can define it on the go by doing it the following way. The first variable will be name, the second will be price, the third is stock and the fourth will be description. It is important that we write it down exactly as it is shown. Now we press save, build and wait. We go back to the page and refresh it. Finally, we can see all the changes that were made. If we wanted to create a fourth test, we hit create. Fill in the blanks. Finish it with add and we can see the change in the new product list page. And finally, we can see that Up2Go has generated all the source code for us. Okay guys, that will wrap it up for today. And as always, thanks for watching.